hello guys welcome to hill studies back again and one member requested me to do a fire drag like whenever you are pressing the fire button you should also drag the camera so that it will move so but he said he is not understanding what i am saying and also i made a tutorial but it is not so completely clear so i am going to set it up from scratch so that you guys can understand it so let us then we are going to do the fire drag one okay not moving you guys can see right when i am pressing on this thing i am not able to move my screen right so i am not going to uh, i am now I'm going to tell you how to solve this problem of pressing the button and moving it at the same time so let us come to our uh, UI. This is where the fire button is. It is a button, right? And uh, so, what you guys need to do is you just need to uh, go to on press and on released. On fire released. What I'm going to do? I don't know. On fire pressed. On fire release. We have to keep this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this thing with an image. So let it, let me keep it right here, and I'm going to replace this with an image. So what is it about image is that for an image, uh, if you are taking an image, the image have the have the functionality of pressing down. So whenever you press on that image, is going to call a function, and also image does not block touch inputs. So it will still work the same way, but you can get it out. So let me just. my god to keep anchors in such a way that the anchors will be close to this one close to this image okay and now whenever you press on this image create binding whenever you press on this image you want uh, execution to happen that is this one right you want this thing to happen right so you're going to click on this one so whenever you press this thing is going to happen now let us see if it is happening or not okay wait now here it is okay got it now just a minute guys so what hap what is happening is like whenever i i'm pressing on this image uh is not turning because i have to set some values up so let's get started so what should i do so whenever we have the touch input it's going to be like on touch mode something like that open graph we're going to check if on touch is true or not so i just need to set on touch equal to true whenever I press on this button as well. So let us see. Uh, set on touch. Set on touch. True. And yeah. What is this? You can just see like whenever I press on this button, it's always going down. Why is it happening? It's pretty simple. Go to image and just copy whatever you do here as well. So go to this function. This function, what we're doing is we're setting on touch to true and we're getting the screen space position and we're setting it to touch start position. So just copy everything as it is and go here and uh, just do the exact stuff here as well. So So what is this pointer event structure my geometry no it is mouse event right yeah on touch and we are setting it to start position and we are replying it that's it 
now i think it will work definitely let us see now you can see right now you can see whenever i press on this button uh, we we can also drag this screen as well it is really cool you might see like why i'm having red color thing right because we implemented we implemented when we are pressing it but unfortunately in unreal engine image does not have an event when we press up uh, like when we release it so on mouse button down we can execute this thing but on mouse button up no nothing no event so how can we solve this issue it is pretty simple go to your tdm pc where event touch is being executed hmm. i think event touch is not being executed anywhere so what we can do hmm. just go to tdm pc where we are spawning a particular character so i think we are spawning third person character right so go to third person character and what we're going to do is one of the amazing things is like whenever you press on that particular fire button let us say it is image but we are going to call it as fire button so whenever you press on that fire button uh you can actually uh call an event like on fire is true but whenever you release it there is no event on the image right we are going to solve it by a workaround let us see how, what it is let us see what it is so whenever you press on this particular image now we have an almost button but you don't have almost button up like releasing it so go to your character and implement uh, on touch event uh, i don't know um, we're going to set is firing to false event and input touch i don't know if it works or not we're going to see if it works or not uh let us go to our player ui and if you go to graph whenever we are releasing it we are calling attack uh with fire as false so that's what we're going to do so what we're going to do is attack we're going to set it by false uh let us go to here save on compile always let us see now I think it is still happening the event is not getting executed like event and input print string uh touch ended not working so what can we do ha huh. so let me check it out wait so ha huh. i think there is an event yeah this here it is input touch so whenever we released we should call this one got it so you have to write this thing as event touch so let us see touch ended you can see touch ended now you can see like there is no firing at all you can just fire as much as much as much time as you want and then once you release it the fire will be off so hope you guys understand this tutorial it's a simple tutorial just an extension someone asked me like how to shoot while moving the Sir, it is pretty simple. You can see now I can I can fire while moving, and once I release it, it's going to be done. So I'm going to do a, give a quick recap to you. So just a minute. Okay. 
my laptop is extremely slow it is really fucking nuts right now okay so initially oh my god it is extremely extremely slow okay got it so initially our image our button does not uh, uh, have a functionality where when we press on the button the input touch is not working so what we'll do we'll do an image so we'll go to the image and there will be a function at the end called on mouse button on mouse button uh, something like that so go to that what it does what we does in there is like we're going to on touch we're going to set it to true and we're going to set start position and we're going to start attacking okay now that is really great okay fine now how are we going to do when we release the image right unfortunately there is no function for that particular image like when we are releasing it so what we're going to do it's pretty simple we're going to go to third person character and we're going to call an event called input touch so what it does is that whenever we release it it's going to set uh is firing to false so whenever i press this image button this function will execute this entire thing will execute and i will start firing whenever i release this particular image button since touch is ended uh where is this this is going to execute so this is pretty simple and if you have any doubts post in the comment section and also for mercenaries unleashed update it's going to come i think video will be coming out mostly by end of this month i'm working on back and stuff designing databases so if that thing really went well, uh, went well then i'm going to release a entire back end video how i made it and by end of this month and yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and if you like this video like it share it and also join our discord so that you can give feedback on my game and if you want any help i can help i can i can be helpful to you as well so okay guys thank you for watching bye